Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Team Driver here, and I want to show you the repairs that are underway on my scratch-built 737 MAX 7 on Norwegian Airlines. I got a new styrofoam nose section on the bird, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you the repairs of the fuse. In the next video, it will be the wing box and the wings. Let's get right down to it. Okay, uh, when she crashed into that table, and uh, she basically just went wing first, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, left wing first in a bank right into the table at an incredible speed. It just, the fuselage, believe it or not, from here back survived. And that's because inside there's a carbon fiber rod that runs up the roof of the um, styrofoam fuselage, hollowed out. So what I did was, I basically have spare fuselage tubes and nose sections for the 7.3 and all I did was take a existing styrofoam nose section and about 20% about of a fuselage tube and let me try and get in here and show you what I did. As you can see, I was able to save about Kind of like a dog leg kind of like that around and then like this so from from here here is all new styrofoam white styrofoam nose section and from here back is all original it was all it was able you know i was able to save that and that's pretty amazing when you think of a plane that hit a table at 40 50 miles an hour. I mean, you guys would have thought that whole this whole plane would have been destroyed. Well, it's not. And uh, this is the testament to why you need to build your RC airplanes tough and strong. When you build your planes flimsy and super, 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 I mean, lightweight, that's great. But if you build them too flimsy, they just don't survive. If they have, if you have a bad accident, a bad landing, um, a stall situation, even flying into a tree like I've done with some planes, they don't survive. And uh, when you put, you know, over a year or year's work into a plane, it's important to build something that's resilient that can survive a, a major crash. So what I'm doing is I'm using white spackle to blend, to blend this new um, fuselage tube with the old fuselage tube. And as you can see, I'll go ahead and turn this a little bit. That's all That's all white, uh, lightweight spackle right there. And it's being uh, blended in with the rest of the fuselage tube. And I'll sand that down and get it smooth. And then I'll mask these areas over, re-laminate the whole uh, fuselage nose section, laminate it, uh, prime it, and then repaint it again with the red nose, gloss red, add the, uh, add the battery hatch right there, add the nose gear retract, and of course go back to having the scale removable cockpit um, with the seats and the HUD and all that great stuff in the backlit um, flight deck and instrument panel will be back in there. But I'm gonna make a modification and a, uh, a slight uh, mod to this removable nose section. I'm only gonna have half of the um, window section removable. The other half will be permanent, so that way when I remove it, I just move a little portion of it so I can stick a camera in there if I want or do some other stuff like that. Uh, so that, that'll make you know life a little bit better there and just easier. So the good thing is when you have an RC airliner and you have something happen and the plane survives and you can repair it, you can make little improvements to it. You can make it better. And in this situation, because I'll be rebuilding part of the fuse, I can make the fuse a little bit better. I can make some improvements and the same thing with the wings. And that's why, uh, you know, scratch building is such a challenge, but so much fun because you can, you can just make things better. You can improve on your existing work. Well, there you have it. New nose section on the Max 7. She's being repaired. She'll be back in the air soon. Part two will be me repairing the wing section, uh, the wing box, the wings, and part three will be another flight of this uh, scratch-built Max 7. Okay, you guys rock. I appreciate you, uh, your time and your views. Take care. God bless. Bye.